uh, 10 minutes later so that everybody knew they had a little bit longer to uh, get, I don't know, cups of tea and stuff, but sorry for making you wait. As you might know, I'm not really a morning person and I had to cycle five or six kilometers to get here. But hello, I hope you're all well. Please say hello if you fancy it. Let's see who I've got. It's Lisa so far saying hello. Hi Lisa and welcome back. It's been a long time. We're at um, Ashikarien. Oh, the lighting just changed dramatically then. Ashikarien, the uh, hydrangea, hydrangea forest that's only open, only open a couple of times a year actually. Ready to see some butterfly bouquets. Excellent. I'm, you've got a great memory. Well, behind me, it's just the toilet. Pretty sure you don't really want to see that. Hi, Lauren. Nice to see you guys. There's been some ladies coming in just now exclaiming gloriously about all the different colours and all of the different styles of hydrangeas around here. I'm just going to realign the gimbal. One second. Three, two, one. Ooh, oh, I only needed a tiny little realign. That's good. But also, it's been raining. So we love it when it's raining because it makes the it makes the flowers look even more vibrant, even more gorgeous. So I hope you get some really, really nice um, some screenshots. And speaking of which, feel free to take as many screenshots as you like. Oh, thanks, Mary Lou. You can come again anytime. Mary Lou says, hello, my favorite guide. <laughs> uh, so in this area, the signal is both excellent and occasionally blips down so if you find that I'm in a fuzzy area then please do tell me and I'll just move to the next area um, and we should be fine but I call these bouquets of butterflies it looks like little butterflies dancing and scattering around everywhere and I might I might pop my nails in the shot every now and again because I've got new nails and I think they look quite cute we'll see We'll go in and have a walk around. So my name is Kendall James and I've been living in Japan for over, just over three and a half years. Just over three and a half years. So I was saying two and a half years last year. Now I'm saying three and a half. Um, and so that means I know a fair bit about Japanese culture. And actually I even recommend places like this to Japanese people when they didn't even know it was here. So one second, I'm gonna put my ticket away. So if you'd like a little picture of my ticket, Please go ahead. Moriyama Ashikarien. I'm told this kanji down here is quite rare and complicated. People don't usually go for that. Okay, phew. Well, Gregory, I've got a feeling your um, your biological clock might have shifted around a little bit for hydrangea season. I don't know if you can really see the scale of these flowers. Maybe you can if I do this. But these ones are mini, 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 mini. They're extra cute. But if I zoom in on just them, it's probably a bit hard to see the scale of them. But aren't they gorgeous? They're all wet, so I guess they've got their protective guard, so I don't touch them today. But normally I do love to touch them. Right, let's stop, let's stop dancing around out here and go inside, shall we? Have a look on the inside. There, uh, so last week they... They thought it was the peak season last week, but I don't think it really was last week at all. I think it's now, um, or at least somewhere in the middle of the week was the peak, peak season. Um, so they just have one market store now, but last week they had lots of them. Oh, hi, Elgazimas. Last week they had lots and lots and lots. I came to check it last week, but everything wasn't really in full bloom. Some of them were. Uh, this time, some are past it, but I'm, we're going to see ones that I didn't even see bloom last time. Uh, Gregory's claiming, claiming to be rare and complicated like some of us, with a little nod to myself, I imagine. <laughs> and maybe so many others, who knows. So just in case you are new to me, Miss Kendall James is how you can find me on various different kinds of social media. So don't hesitate to check out linktr.ee forward slash Miss Kendall James. And then you might find lots of other things that I do because I'm an artist that's been living here in Japan. I post pictures on Instagram, videos on YouTube. Um, I've got a website with my first ever exhibition, but I just haven't found the time to update that, sadly. Um, but hope I do at some point. This is just the entrance over here as we go into the forest-like space. This one is called Okusa, Otakusa, Otakusa, Otakusa. No, I didn't. I'm forever trying to forget that name. <laughs> I just learned this horrible name. 
for for bell peppers or peppers in Australian English. Ugh, I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why, but no, no. Capsicum? Capsicum? No capsicum dreams last night, thank goodness. Giant bell peppers following me, chasing me, I don't know. So as you can see, it's quite forest-like. When you approach this area from a distance, it actually just looks like a big broccoli. A giant broccoli just hanging out in the middle of rice fields, basically. If um, I'm afraid you can't check a map, but we're right next to Lake Biwa. Spider incoming. Don't look if you don't want to see a spider. Here's the spider. There's lots of spiders hanging out on these, actually. I've, I've noticed, but I think... They look quite cool and happy hanging out. And there's dragonflies around too, so maybe I'll catch a dragonfly. Not literally. Japanese people do though. Japanese people love insect hunting. Or at least the children do. Which I think might be why Animal Crossing has so many features that involve catching, catching insects and displaying them in museums and things. So this area was the area that was in full bloom last week and the inside wasn't so much. So I expect we're going to see it looking a bit more grand inside. Here's the little baby blue and baby pinks. I'll try not to spin you too violently. And there's purple. There are 150 different varieties in here from Japan and Europe. Um, but the... Uh, there's about 1,000 or more plants. Oh, no problem. Mary Lou, I remember very much how, how you liked this garden last year. I hope you guys will catch me um, later. We'll be here for about an hour. I think I'm going to draw some of the hydrangeas as well. This says it's uh, um, come and see the hydrangeas with an artist. So I've got some colouring pencils in my bag. Let's see if we find somewhere to sit after. And um, we practice drawing a few hydrangeas. I'll give you guys some ideas and maybe you can pop them in your own journals and books or cards to friends. Looking at you, Lisa and the gang at your house, maybe you'll have a... Maybe you'll get some ideas for your journal. Look at this just in bloom. I love it when they're um, a little bit pink as well and all kinds of other colours. So lovely. So we'll walk around for a bit and then I'll, then I'll do that, I think. So if anyone doesn't want to see the arty bit, you can just disappear at that point. Yeah, lovely to see this garden. And the most famous one from the... So I, I came from Hago, as so many of you know. Hago being a live streaming service that allowed us to sort of see... Well, to very much see the whole world. To see the whole world from our PJs. Uh, and you can do the same, of course, on YouTube. People have been doing it for much, much longer on YouTube. Pom, 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 pom. Pom, pom. Oh, the cold wetness is actually refreshing. Um, oh my goodness. Yes, so back on Hago, I used to visit this um, botanical garden right next to Lake Biwa that was called, is called the Mizunomori. So it just means the water forest. But right now there's water lilies and even some giant lotuses. Um, I say giant because they look giant to me because they put them up next to us and lots more hydrangea so we'll go and see those after as well as being right next to Lake Biwa. I mean you can just see a car park there but off in the distance I don't know if you can get the impression that it leads to something and the something is Lake Biwa. It looks very secret garden-y around here doesn't it? And if I shut up for one moment I'm sure you can hear the insects everywhere. I wish you could uh, I wish you could feel the air. I guess also, I know in Canada there have been lots of problems recently and especially spreading through to um, America too with uh, the red, is it the ash in the sky from different kinds of fires occurring. Uh, so I know your air is not air has not been so clean lately, but this air out here next to Lake Biwa after the rain just smells so fresh and clean. it's lovely. So I'm not trying to show off, I'm just trying to help you reimagine what it was like to have 
nice clean air next to you with the with the mind to hopefully experience that again. Oh, hi, Olga Zaymas. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell from her tone of voice, but she was very pleased to see me. Look at these beauties. They've got multiple colors on the petals, so they're, they look decorated specifically. Aren't they lovely? So lovely. And we're walking through just loads of varieties right here on this just on each bush either side of me. I'm from the UK and if you walk around the UK, you tend to find hydrangeas in big plumes, giant, giant bushes of them outside of people's houses. So I walk past people's houses and have a pom, 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 fluff, 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 pom, pom, pom. I love putting, I've always loved putting my hands over them. It wasn't until Hago that I got found out as being a flower toucher, um, which sounds a lot worse than it is. I just, I didn't know how much I love to touch them. <laughs> Look, you can see the gentle breeze just pushing them backwards and forwards. So lovely. Anyway, we still haven't walked into the, the main part of it. I've just walked around one side of the outside. Melissa's a flower toucher too. Phew! I don't know if doing something wrong with a group of people makes it better or not though. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't think it's a problem to attach flowers really. Do you? Do you? Depends whose flowers it is. Depends whose flowers they are. Another spidey here. Can you see? Oh, I can't. It won't do a macro zoom without me putting on a special setting. Behind me there's ladies that are cleaning the benches so that people can sit down on them. Isn't that thoughtful? One of the many thoughtful things about living in Japan. Do you remember last year when I saved a turtle? I think I came here hmm, maybe four or five times last year. This year I'm really not doing that. I've come here once for myself and then once here for you guys. Um, I'm not going to overexert myself anymore. <laughs> I think I might, might have if I, if there was, if there was, I don't know, still energy for it. Time and money are things to spend, right? So if I still had the time and the money, which I suppose I don't, and um, then I might, but you know what? Time to rest is fine. Nice to see everybody. Thanks all for being here. You're welcome to say hello and join in the chat, no problem. You know what, Gregory, that's absolutely true. Gregory says, I'm almost sure the flowers must feel more cared for by being patted and spoken to nicely. That's what I try to do for each of you guys, even through the internet, you know? I hope you feel better for being patted. Patted, um, having your minds patted with information. <laughs> I don't know, a little bit early for me to use my brain too much. This is uh, an old boat over here. It's the boat, yes, Lisa, it's the boat. Do you remember last year, these were double the height, so they've been cut right back. They must have started them fresh. So now they're baby pom-poms. But we'll go have a look at the baby pom-poms in a minute, and I'll pom them just to check. Hi, Sue, thanks for being here. Yeah, super stunning flowers, aren't they? The colors must almost be, this pink one, almost too vivid to show up properly, but I think it's doing a good representation of it. Hello, nice to see you, Nancy. There's some people taking pictures. It's paramount that you take pictures of yourself next to the hydrangeas. That's how that's how you let people know you've you've been to see the flowers. And that's how you admire the flowers more, by being the biggest flower among them. Oh, these ones, do you remember? These ones are called Annabelle. They're called Annabelle. So if you know any Annabelles, these are for these are for them. Little Annabelle flowers. But they were double the height last year, so they really have changed. If you guys are, I'm not sure how most of you guys have 
caught caught word of this um, stream here. But if you'd like to get the direct information, then please make sure you give my Buy Me A Coffee a follow. You can also leave tips and join my membership program there. But more than anything, if you just hit the follow, that means that you'll get my emails that have direct links for you guys and the other important information and also exclusive pictures as well. So please do consider joining there. Oh, your great aunt was an Annabelle. Hi, Sharon. As I conduct this survey for myself, I hope you guys will, will comply and answer, but do let me know, how did you find out about this live stream? I really you love this, my hand's coming in. I love this, it reminds me of walking through the park when I was a kid. Did you see on the Facebook group, my YouTube channel, my Buy Me A Coffee, um, the guide calendar, please let me know. How did you get yourself here today? So pretty, right? YouTube channel, excellent. YouTube notification. You opened the YouTube and Kendall was live, so you joined in. Excellent. Follow my channel. Okay, looks like YouTube's working out the best. Because right now I'm spending quite a lot of time promoting in, in all different channels. And I just, as in YouTube, personal, Facebook, the new old Hago calendar. Look, a caterpillar. A really fluffy one. I'm not going to touch that one. Um, and sometimes Instagram and buy me a coffee. And it's all a bit exhausting. It's a bit much. Don't know if you realise quite how long it takes. Look at this fluffy caterpillar. I'm not touching him. I don't trust things that have invisible fluff spikes like that. But isn't he cute? Caterpillar. Oh. What a wiggly. What a wiggly. How cute. How cute. And look how vivid, vivid the green is. Now, Lisa says this about the green in Japan, and I agree, I agree. I think it's kind of because it's almost rainforesty sometimes. We honestly get so much rain here, and then, um, and then lots of sunshine as well, and it's quite humid. So the, the green is just juicy. Do you know what I mean? It's just extra luscious looking. Let's have a look over here. So we're enjoying the high today at Ashikarien. Ashikarien. I don't know the meaning of that, but the kanji isn't that which you'd expect for such ph phonetics. Oh, Suzanne just randomly opened up YouTube and it showed what was live. Well, I'm glad. Actually, that's how I found myself on a couple of other people's live streams, like Erica's. I've just, you know, I've opened up YouTube and it's been there. It's the most natural way. Have you all become YouTube users now since, um, since, here you go. Look at this, so fun. Look, it's a Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, three, two ears and a, and a circle for the face. So I hope you're looking forward to coming to see the water lilies with me next. Who's joining in for that? Give me a hands up emoji of sorts or other emoji. Oh, bumblebee. Can you hear it? Luckily, I'm not scared of that kind of thing. But it's having a good old bumble near me. There's baby axolotls at the um, at the botanical garden. So I hope I can show you the baby axolotls, but the signal isn't so good when I go inside that area. But we'll try, shall we? We'll try and have a look at the little baby axolotls. They're so cute. But it's a little bit creepy because you can truly, truly see inside them. You can even see the little chains of their intestines and things. It's quite interesting. A bit much, but quite interesting. So I rode my bicycle five kilometers, six kilometers to get here, and I've got two more kilometers after. But actually, it was quite nice because since Hago closed, and since, of course, my art exhibition saw me being inside quite a lot, I actually wasn't cycling very much at all. And I think you guys know I love cycling. So it was just nice to get my legs working in that way, you know? You're doing water lilies. I get calendar notifications 
and your Amazon Alexa. Nice. How does Alexa pronounce my name? Does she do it? That's pretty cool. I love the insides. Look, these are where the, um, the hydrangeas will sometimes open up from, but they don't always totally open up on these. So they look like little nests. It's like, if I make a metaphor for it, the family, the family, um, the people in the family and then the, the connecting thing that brings them all together. So they can still find each other whenever they need to. Maybe I'm getting sentimental though because I find myself visiting, um, visiting the UK this year for the first time in forever. And I can't really remember the seasons of flowers and things in the UK. So I'm really hoping I get to, um, I'm really hoping I get to see things like this at a, in a different season, you know. And I'll be transferring everything on my phone over to my computer and my um, over to my computer and my hard drive, so that I've got a nice blank 80 gigabytes or so to make lots of videos and things for you guys. So I think some high quality videos would be very nice. And I'll just turn the camera back to myself and tell you something. Tell you something else. Hello, if you didn't see me earlier, nice to see you. Thank you very much for coming. I'll just, we've still got plenty of time, don't worry. We're together for another um, 30 or 40 minutes and I'm gonna do some drawings of the hydrangeas too. But I just thought I'd say, welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before and thank you very much for coming. Um, we're, going, we're near Lake Biwa, the largest lake in Japan. It's almost the same size as Singapore actually and I'll find myself in Singapore twice this year um, at very least to be in the airport because I've got to pass through Singapore to get to the UK because the prices are just extraordinary so if you go on my link tr.ee forward slash Miss Kendall James um, link then you can find a little link to my GoFundMe if you want to keep helping me cover the cost of my flights that's wonderful even a little five pounds really really helps there have been some incredible anonymous donations and I'm really really grateful for the substance in some of those it's lovely but it's also just so nice to see that I think 51 52 people have um, contributed towards helping me get back to the UK which is lovely so a big big thank you to you guys you rock um, but I also just wanted to, to tell you that, yeah, my name is Miss Kendall James and I welcome you here. I live in Moriyama, which is in Shiga. Shiga is next to Kyoto and Osaka. And um, after, this, after this live stream, I'll be cycling directly to the lake. So you'll even get views of the lake yourself and we'll go and see a botanical garden that way. Uh, and it's just really, really lovely. But if you've got pen and, pen and pencils or some felt tips or something around you or even paints, I think I'm gonna try and do a little bit of painting after. So, um, uh, not painting, sorry, drawing. So if you want to draw some hydrangeas with me and sort of experiment with how we might draw them in a sketchbook, then please go get a couple of things. And if you don't like what you've done or you do like it, you can cut them out and stick them in other things. So yeah, consider doing that. There's also a tagged link to my buy me a coffee here. So consider joining the Kenda Packer Club. And thank you very much to all the Kenda Packers that are supporting me monthly and getting hand painted cards and things like that. You should have yours on the way. It should be here with you in the next week I think your next hand painted card and for those of you that didn't get the daffodils of spring they'll be coming in and you'll be getting forget-me-nots as a kind of ironic twist on sorry it took me so long to, to get the last ones out um, for those of you that are expecting some new cards and I'll make sure everybody who joins gets forget-me-nots before I go back to the UK this year I I look on Buy Me A Coffee, but mostly just YouTube and your emails. Oh, great. Yeah, the emails are for Buy Me A Coffee, but I find I don't get much interaction on Buy Me A Coffee, but I think people are still checking out the emails. And a lot have said that they prefer to have the emails just sent directly like that. Um, so I'm happy to keep doing that. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, I'm, gonna, I'm going in for a big grab because the wet, can you see the wetness? It's actually really refreshing. It's really nice. There's some lovely blueies over here. Oh, Gregory says, your coffee emailing. And then I was relieved to see today's tours in the guide's calendar so that I wouldn't be relying on my own calibration of what time it would be on. 
where I am? Well, in the UK, uh, in the UK and Ireland, may I say, um, Gregory, it's just eight hours behind. Don't worry, I won't put my hands on all of them. I just really like touching them. Um, it's just eight hours behind. So I find when it's nine hours, when you guys get daylight savings, it's even more complicated. But at eight hours, I don't think it's too bad, to be honest. So thanks for being here. I'm glad you measured it just so. And thank you all for bearing with me being 10 minutes later. It was actually quite a relief to just pop onto YouTube, set the time to 10 minutes later, so that if you guys thought, where's Kendall? You could just look and see that it was 10 minutes later. Go and grab yourselves coffee or gin or whatever you have at whatever time of the day it is where you are and, uh, and still find me. So yay, thanks. Thank you very much. Just in case you're curious, I do have a little bit of information about some hydrangeas and this garden. So if you wanted to come here, uh, one second, just in case you guys are tourists, you know, in the future, let me, let me say. Singapore Airport is amazing. I've heard it is, Lauren. On my first go, I'll have seven hours in Singapore Airport. And on my second go, I've stopped myself. I've got, I've bought my own tickets so that I have a full 17 hours all day, which actually means I can leave and go into Singapore. I've already checked. I don't need a visa for that, which is excellent. Gregory says, I've been surprised at how early in the year nature has been appearing here. Is that in, in Ireland you're finding that, um, Gregory? Because in Japan it's quite different already. For example, in the UK I find that daffodils are spring flowers, but in, um, in Japan they're winter flowers, which really baffles me. They're one of my favourites. Butterfly garden, sunflower garden, etc. Yeah, we'll see some baby sunflowers at the next one. I say that because they're the miniature varieties of them at the next garden. Now, I think I might have just lost my train of thought a tiny little bit. Let me try and catch up with my mind. It was racing along. Okay, yeah, if you're a tourist in this area, if you're planning to come to Japan in the future, number one coming in, if you ever need a real personal tour guide that does speak Japanese, I like, um, I'm putting myself getting close to four out of ten on my scale of speaking Japanese, but with some fluency about my basic Japanese. And I, I tend to think or, or be told that I'm a good communicator. So if you want a fluent English speaker that also speaks, now I officially speak Australian English because I know how to say bell pepper. I'm kidding. That's not my, <laughs> that's not my measure of how I can, uh, how fluent I am in a language. But I speak fluent <laughs> American and British English and I'll also chuck in dialects from around the UK and maybe even bits of Japanese and uh, I can teach Japanese as well but if you're looking for someone like that and you're interested in hiring a tour guide um, then you know let me know if you're interested in hanging out with me as a friend then absolutely no problem you'll get some good tour guiding out of me that way as well but um, but I encourage you to, to go one for one. Have me as a tour guide one day and have me as a friend another. They're near enough the same experience as I say, but <laughs> one helps me put, put food on the table, if you know what I mean. The other, both of them make my heart happy. So do let me know. But if you'd like to come here, if you'd ever like to come here, then this is... Moriyama is 25 minutes away from Kyoto train station, Kyoto's main train station. And then actually it's just a, it's a five and a half kilometer cycle directly from the train station in Moriyama in a straight line practically. There's just one little turn, but it's just a straight, straight line. So it's really quite easy to get to this area, I think. There's not necessarily anything special on the way, but you will get to cycle through um, cycle through rice fields and things, which I think is quite special because you probably don't have them where you live. The rice paddies, you know? Um, or you can get the bus. The bus will get you to this approximate area in 15 or 20 minutes and then you carry on walking for a little while longer. But there's, there are lovely shrines and things nearby as well that also look like broccoli mountains from the outside, which is quite funny, I think. Oh, look, another spider. Don't look if you don't want to see a little spider, just a green one. But you get a feel for how, how much spiders love these, love these hydrangeas. Generally, um, bumblebees like them too, but bumblebees prefer it when it's dry. One of my favorite things about the internet these days is that there seems to be a lot of photographs arriving of bumblebees sleeping in ones and twos inside flowers, and I'm just loving that because bumblebees have the fluffiest, juiciest booties 
and I think it's great. <laughs> Celebrate those juicy booties. Look at these little shades of, and speaking of the devil, there's a little giant bumble hanging out over there. Look at the shades of pink through here, so beautiful. So has anyone got any coloring pencils and things? Shall we see what we can do? Oh, that's true, Gregory. Love it. Loving the wit, loving the quick. Paddies everywhere, but not a one to eat. Paddies, paddies everywhere. But alas, none can be eaten. Bumble bums. Bzz. All right, give me another Aussie slang. Make it appropriate, because I do have a I do have an Australian friend out here that's taught me some that is quite something. I've been shocked been shocked right here's a nice picture coming in of oh there's water running down my foot down running into my shoe down my foot quite refreshing still always look on the bright side of life there's definitely spider webs like growing on me though i'll give me give me your your favorite slang as long as it's pg my favorite slang from where I live in Bristol is, from where I'm from, Bristol is Gertlash. Gertlash, it means very good. This one is called Dance Party. Oh, you guys remember? Do you remember? This one is called Dance Party. Dance Party. If air dinkum, my car just ran out of petrol as if I was going on a. Nah, okay, I'm going to let you come back to that. You just said, come back to it. So I'll let you do that. So hydrangeas appear in our lives in Japan when the rain comes. So as the rain, rain falls in, in Africa, in Japan and everywhere, as the rain falls, the hydrangeas come. And they're a symbol of kind of sadness and loss and grievance. So they're quite metaphoric popping out as the rain comes. Yet good things come from from shedding some tears, from relieving yourself of, of, of the pain of loss. So in, in Japanese um, kind of folklore, there's poems and things that, that say, gather your blues, it's hydrangea season. So you collect up all those mauves and blues and things and then, and then enjoy, the, enjoy the hydrangea season. Like give in, give in to your Give in to the sadness, have your cry, feel your pain and enjoy the flowers. And what comes after is brighter, clearer, better and in Japan a lot more humid than you would think. So gather your blues for hydrangea season. And you see all around that the hydrangeas are all different colours, but they tend to be in masses of approximately the same colour. So we have... Um, Lots of pinks and purples kind of clustered together, whites clustered together and blues near those. And that's just because of the, the quality of the soil and the amount of alkaline, I think alkaline is what they say, in the soil. So it changes what the hydrangeas look like. So in the UK, what I found is that, oh, there's butterflies and dragonflies here. I found that everybody's house had a different shade of, um, not dragonfly, different shade of hydrangea next to it. Now I, I'm looking down here because I think there's a nice picture of the water on the leaves here. Let's have a look. Santas. Ignore the word Santas. Oh my goodness Lauren, not really sure what's been said at all there. But I will tell you that the children I teach have all started saying oh my goodness. But that's because I'm trying not to swear at them with some of the things they do. So oh my goodness is the most PG version of of what I want to say to them when they've used the entire whiteboard marker on the table or on their arms or something I don't know so oh my goodness is what they learned from me it's a Friday morning so there's not so many people around which is pretty good I think I'd love to draw dance party, so I wonder if I can find a kind of seating and table area next to dance party flowers. But if not, I'll just try and remember the appearance of these. Has anyone got anything? Give me a thumbs up if you've got something to have a little draw with. 
and we'll try and recreate some of these hydrangeas. I don't have a tripod, not with me anyway, so, and it wouldn't have fit on my bicycle. That would probably have been better. I should probably find myself getting a tripod in the future. Nice. Translation. Bloody hell, my car just ran out of gas and I was heading to McDonald's to buy a sausage sandwich. Luckily I didn't get any mosquitoes. Oh my goodness. Invest inventing a new Australian language. Whew. Strangian language. Yeah, so what my, um, my friend has told me is that there are quite a lot of idioms that just are quite shocking. <laughs> It's funny. I'd like to recreate this kind of hydrangea. I'm looking for a seat now. You see some lovely ladies over there in their kimono, in their yukata actually. Yukata is like a cotton version of a kimono. I don't want to capture their faces though. Right, let me see what I can do about sitting next to some flowers trying to blend in. Ginny's here. Ginny has, oh, that means Ginny's awake. Crazy late or crazy early in the morning. I'm looking for a sitting spot. Oh, I found one, but other people took it. I'm looking for a sitting spot near hydrangeas. Macca's is McDonald's, Mozzie's and Mosquitoes. Aussies is Australian. So we use Aussies, Mozzies, and we say Mackie D's in the UK. Mackie D's. But you say Mackie's. So, you know, British English and British English and Australian may not be so dissimilar. Okay, I think I found some this way. Sorry, swinging you around a little bit. Okay, I had to sit in the sunshine over here. Will I look like a flower? I don't know. Oh, a tonbo nearly sat with me. A tonbo is a, a tonbo is a dragonfly in Japanese. A tonbo sat down with me. I'm going to show you something probably quite nostalgic for you guys. Excuse me. Right, you're no, you don't have to be parked between my legs. I'm going to pop you on the side over here. Excuse me, shuffling you around a little bit. You got more oh, down from the hill last night after the Morris people. Hooey. Right, I'm gonna pop you guys down just here. So what we're going to do is have a look in one of my old sketchbook from last year. I'm gonna put my hat on because the sunshine's coming out. My old sketchbook from last year has a hydrangea page in it. Do you guys remember? I think you remember. A little bit of nostalgia for you there. Gather your blues. It's hydrangea season. So the aluminum, aluminium ions, eons, ions in the soil. More acidic is blue and more uh, red is alkaline. And there's the, all of the changes from the sixth, the sixth month to the seventh. So the, the hydrangeas express condolence. A flower full of blues. That's a nostalgic little, little page, isn't it? Let me see what you guys are saying. I would stop for a glass of wine on the, on the way down. I'm looking forward to stopping for cider here, there and everywhere when I'm in the UK. Very excited for it. Okay, I'm going to get my pencil case out and my, my new sketchbook of this year that's getting a bit neglected because I've been working on that exhibition, but I'm going to take it to the UK and see what I can fill it up with. I think that will delight Japanese people when they look at it in the future. So let's see, shall we? If I move... If I move you around just there... What can you see? I don't know where it's best to have everybody. Shall I? One second. Bear with me. I'm trying to work this out. It's not quite the same as when I was on my um, as when I was on my um, Lake Biwa tour. Right? Do you see in the distance? We've got some purple flowers and some blue ones and pink ones. I'm going to try and recreate those. But what I think I'll do 
It's have you guys looking in my book. You jaunted, you Ginny's jaunted. That's excellent. I'm gonna have, no, what am I gonna do? I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna go, one second. This has gotta work better, okay. There we go. Now, this is more like when I'm at home doing it with you guys. Okay, so let's have a look. Please draw Hydrangea with me. I'm getting a light purple, but go for whatever you like. I'm, gonna, I'm looking at them ahead of me and I'm gonna show you how to, how to draw them. So, I mean, I'm making it up myself. So don't get wildly excited. I'm doing some kind of um, pointed petals, but don't make each of them perfect because it's not really what flowers look like. They do if you dissect them, but we're not on a flower dissection course right now. We're looking at them from different angles. Hydrangeas usually have this little dot in the middle of them, so go for that. And I'm gonna get another flower to overlap this one in the background of it. So you've got to try and imagine that some of it has disappeared behind the other flower. So don't draw them all perfectly next to each other unless you're making some kind of 70s textile design. Okay, so going for that so far, and I'm gonna do some sideways over here. Try to think about, I mean, the thing is, if you think about it too much, you won't be able to create it because you'll think it doesn't look right. But to draw them on the side, you have to draw totally different shapes, you know? This also all, almost looks like a lotus flower. This one over here, I'm gonna do almost totally flattened out, like the shape of a, a lotus flower from the side, if you imagine our dear Buddha. And over here, one in the background. Almost can't even see what it looks like, okay? You can't see every petal. It's a bit complicated, that one. So I'm gonna shade that one in because it's right in the background, so that one's getting shaded in full purple. It's getting full purple. This is a kind of lilac one that we've got over there. And then these, these are a little bit more pink in the middle, and then around the outside, the petals have this darkness. So I'm gonna try and I'm turning my, my pencil on its side, and I'm trying to shade it in by pushing quite, pushing down quite hard, specifically pushing down hard on the edge of where the, um, of where I've drawn the pencil line and being a bit lighter in the middle. And in the middle, I'm gonna add something a little bit more pink, but also try and leave it a bit white. But you see, I'm not really lifting my pencil off the page. I'm not fussing too much about whether or not it's perfect. But also don't compare yourself to me if you're thinking, oh my goodness, Kendall, how did she do that so quickly and so neatly and so nicely? Don't forget, I've been honing my who cares what my drawing looks like skill for decades, okay? So, or at least a solid decade of not even caring. At least a solid decade of that. I'm going to swap to a darker purple if I've got one. Let's see if I've got one. I think I do. Let's have a look. Um, if anyone is not interested in this drawing section of it, then I understand, no problem. Feel free to make yourself scarce, but I hope you'll stick around if you'd like to see. So what I've got next, overall I'm going to use this lilac, um, this kind of fuchsia purple colour and a light blue. Might pop a little bit of light pink just in these. I'm going to do the same thing but I think I'm gonna be a little rough with it. You know, no one's gonna see what the flower looked like that I'm drawing it from. You, you'll be able to tell it's the same flower, but it doesn't have to look exactly like the flower. Does it? No, no. So just a few little spots of pink here and there. You started a new art technique called encaustic art. Encaustic art, what is that? What does that mean? Is it from cause and N? Oh my gosh, guys. Right, we've got a wonderful dragonfly. Ah, goodness, sorry. We had a lovely dragonfly just, it was going well, it was going well, oh well. Right, I'm gonna use the, no, I'm gonna use the light blue. The light blue, and I'm gonna do loads of little circles, medium-sized circles, double, triple, quadruple the size of what you've done inside of the, um, inside of that, flower but a, a variety of shapes and sizes i'm not going to do this everywhere but close to the first flowers i'm doing some little heads of those try and get some half ones too it'll look, make it look a bit more natural do you see half ones that are just um sneaking in just behind some of these 
Okay, do you see what we got there? And now I'm going to use the darker purple, which isn't the kind of shade I really want for this, but I'm going to use a darker purple to... That dragonfly wants to land on my bag again. I'm going to go over the same dots, just a little bit more of a halo around them. Okay, can you see that up close? It's going a little bit of a halo around the blue dots that I've already done. And we'll go look at the flower. You can compare and tell me what you think of the flower. I did it from after. We'll go and check it out. So we, we don't care about this perfection business. We just care about an impression. And remembering a moment in which we, we shared time here together, remembering when we saw the hydrangeas. I even intentionally picked a non-perfect looking one, so we don't have a ball, so we've got nothing to, um, we don't have any competing with with what the hydrangea looks like. We don't have to try and make a perfect ball of anything. Okay, I'm gonna add some just purple ones up higher. Just purple. I'm not really lifting the pencil from the, from the page here. Just up and around. Okay, here we go. That's what they look like. <laughs> こんにちは。ライブ配信です。YouTube で。これは。ライブ。ライブ。はい。みんなカナダ、オーストラリア、アメリカ人です。えー。オッケー、ガイズ。綺麗ね。ありがとうございます。お上手です。ありがとうございます
ぐるぐる回って。ぐるぐる回ってぐるぐるはかりませんあっ<笑>忙しそううんそしてパイプを作りますおお書きますおお面白い<笑>楽しんでくださいありがとうございますじゃあねはい。If we think I captured its essence. So, this is what I was looking at, and this is what I created. I don't know if I could put them together. Ta da! If I was looking at them from quite far away, what do you think? Did I capture the essence of Hydrangea? I'd hoped to do a little bit more, but it's also nice to see if I can practice a little bit of Japanese at the same time. Not so bad. Have a look here. Let me get you your final shot, I think. How's this? Is it got, doesn't have a shadow over it. Here we go. We can see my drawings. You can see last year. You can see a little hydrangea from this year. I hope you got a couple of ideas of how to start creating a hydrangea if you want to work from your own postcards and things,、um, postcard screenshots and whatever. I hope you do. And if you'd like to draw more hydrangeas with me, if you'd like a from my house live stream, just let me know and I'll think about, I'll think about putting together something like that. I'll see what I can do while they're in season. So, I hope you had a lovely time. I think this is a nice enough location to thank you and、uh, say goodbye. I'm going to cycle a couple of kilometers to the next location. Maybe see if I get myself a drink or some lunch first and then present the next live stream to you guys in one hour. So, I hope you'll join me in an hour.、Um, And it's very, very nice. We're going to see water lilies, lotus flowers. The great news is, you guys might have remembered from last year that it can get really, really hot in Japan. So the rain has actually cooled it down quite a lot. It is 70,、uh, 27 degrees here, but it's still, that's still okay. When it, that when it gets 10 degrees higher, the phones just overheat nonstop. So it's good that it's a bit overcast today. We can make the most of that for the next,、um, for the next live stream. So, I hope you'll see me there. Do consider clicking on that Buy Me a Coffee link to either follow and get your、um, regular emails from me, because that's how you get the links and things and extra pictures and a little bit of insight into myself. Or you can even leave a little tip or join the Kenda Packer Club there as well. Kenda Packer members, thank you so much. You guys are so wonderful for supporting me like you do. And I'm so grateful to have you. That's all right. Thank you guys very, very much. Saw someone making backgrounds with the encaustic technique on YouTube. Oh, Charity, thanks for still catching some of the tour. Sorry, you missed the,、um, you missed the flourished version of it, but come to the next one in one hour and you'll see lots more. Colored wax blocks, hot iron and wax. Oh, nice. That sounds fun. I look forward to seeing it at some point. Catch you guys later.